All right, back now with this story. 16 days, no Speaker of the House, and the leading candidate's chances only getting worse. In the first vote for Jim Jordan, he only got 200 votes. That's 17 short of the magic number. Yesterday, he got even fewer. And now ABC News has learned there may not even be a third try. Still, Representative Jordan says he will stay in the fight. Ike Joshi breaks down all of the chaos. We're, we're continuing to talk with, with members. Former Speaker Kevin McCarthy defending Jordan's delay, saying he should have more time to whip the votes he needs. Normally, you have an election in November. So I had from November all the way to January to work on winning Speaker. Jim Jordan's had less than 48 hours here, okay? Still, some Republicans firm in their stance against Jordan, even proposing other options. I think uh, it is imperative that we pass the resolution empowering Patrick McHenry to serve uh, as the temporary speaker. Temporary speaker Patrick McHenry says he's not interested. I'm going to the floor to vote for Jim Jordan. Some Republicans refusing to back Jordan are facing growing pressure to fold. Representative Don Bacon telling ABC his phone's been flooded with calls, including his wife's course, phone. You know, my wife's been getting anonymous texts and anonymous phone calls trying to compel her to force me to change my vote, which is wrong. It's crossing the crossing boundaries. After withdrawing her support for Jordan, Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks revealing she received what she called credible death threats and several threatening calls. Jordan has since commented on the threats his Republican colleagues are receiving. He says they're terrible and just wrong. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Capitol Hill.